What is up champs and champ pets? We are back and today we're gonna to be talking about just one of the many things wrong with my backhand, but I got a sports science hack for you that can really help with the off arm sailing as they call it. And so let's get into it. I came across this sports science hack. You know, I'm pretty freaking lame and I was sitting around on a Friday night and I came across a, a study using something called a connection ball and they're using it in baseball and so i started looking into these connection balls they're not really usable on course as you can see in this picture here it, it's just kind of ridiculous but it did get my brain going and i said hey maybe we could use something smaller maybe we could use like a disc this is going to be the experiment i'm going to run today i'm going to take a disc i'm going to put it in my armpit and I'm gonna throw with it. And I think it should work. We're gonna go play around, we're gonna come back to hole one, and we're gonna see the results and give a little recap. We might mix a couple little shots in here on some different holes to show some examples, but I've thrown a couple shots like this already, just at home in the backyard, and it, it seemed to work. So let's take it on course. I highly do recommend practice this at home or in the field before taking it on course, but what the hell, let's just do it. So we'll catch you guys back on hole one. Okay, before we get into the sports science hack, we gotta start from the beginning where I'm at right now. So here's an example throw. Okay, that's where we're starting from. All right, we got a little hole five update here. It's going fairly well. Uh, I've lost, a, definitely lost a little bit of accuracy. I've definitely gained a little bit of distance. So let's, uh, let's give another shot here. That is an extremely good shot for me on this hole. That might be parked. That has never happened before. This might be working. So not quite parked, but 20 feet. I'll take it. Ooh, ugly bird. I'll take that too, though. Okay, hole 14 update. Tightest gap we got on this course. So ultimate accuracy update. To see how this goes on our first run at it. One thing I've noticed so far is I'm liking using a putter, like a soft putter, as my connection ball. And I'm liking having the, the bottom plate against my side instead of against my arm. So that might help. I'll pimp that. I'll take that any day on this hole. This thing, this thing, this, this is working so far. Let's finish it up. All right, so we're back at hole one. We're gonna complete the test. So far, so good on uh, through the 18 holes. I was about 40 feet short on this hole before we started doing this with the, with the connection ball. So let's see. Oh boy. The wind got it. Let's just still go measure it just purely on distance. All right, so you can see the wind kind of got a held, uh, hold of that one. It was a good bit longer. That was about 10 feet short of the pin. So we got 30 feet more distance there, but let's try another one. Um, the wind's kind of calm right now. And this isn't a perfect science experiment because the wind has sort of kicked up since we first started. Let's give this another crack though. Yeah, it's still really windy. That looks like it's pin high though. That's like 40 feet. Let's go check it out. Yeah, so this is legit. This is like pin high. That's 40 feet of distance gained just from using that connection ball trick. And I never birdie this hole. I'm usually, yeah, 30, 40 feet short. Wow, just a very successful experiment that we ran there today. I think this can really help you out. That was literally my first time doing this, except for three throws in my backyard. Um, I really think it helps to get that centrif centrifugal motion 
really driving the disc further, give it a shot. Let us know what you think in the comments. I'm going to be doing this for like the next month, six weeks. I'm going to make an update video and it should only get better, which doesn't seem possible. You know what we're going to do? We're going to catch you later.